Hey guys, this is Marie's coming at you again with another light assault video. Still using the Pulsar C with forward grip, compensator, and high velocity ammo. Now there are many different ways of playing light assault, and of course uh, there are many different tactics in terms of uh, how you wanna engage your enemies and how you wanna help your team. Uh, how you wanna attack and uh, defend bases. Now the way I play obviously goes together with uh, the weapons I choose and uh, the attachments of those weapons. Now, the Light Assault class is normally described or many times described as a uh, one-man army type uh, class. It's the class uh, of choice for many players who like to play this game solo but it doesn't necessarily have to be and uh, hopefully in this video I'll be able to show you a little bit of the team play aspect of Light Assault. Uh, did they so say something about the bug uh, with the uh, flight sitting? Fuck. Reloading. Just put a ESF outside of the warp gate. You're gonna have a 500 meters flight sitting. If oh, you really? spot the warp gate, it's 1,000. Oh. oh, I didn't know that. Oh, so that's what it was yesterday. I was wondering. Yeah. I didn't yeah, know that. That's why I, I, at the moment, I crashed into Matty. Not gonna be much. Uh, Wait, you get it? They're coming behind day. you too, guys. Uh, look, look at the pop here at the Ziggurat. <laughs> yeah, I, oh, the it's only like could hit the ziggurat. So if you find a position like this where you can see the SU or one of the points, you can take out some of the enemies from range and also let your teammates know what's happening around them. Yeah, I also get. Oh, they're coming from the generator room. They're going into C. Max and C. And that's the thing about uh, some of the weapons in Planet Side 2 is that if you try to use them for anything but their intended purpose, you will find yourself in a massive disadvantage, much more than in a lot of other games that I've played in the past. Now even though I do hipfire quite a lot and uh, I show that in all of my videos with the Pulsar C, even with this setup, I really want you to know that uh, this weapon isn't any good for that, even though in some of these engagements it might look better than it actually is. If you go up against a... Uh, close range carbine or a submachine or a shotgun you're probably not going to win unless you for whatever reason have a favorable engagement or you are just uh, more experienced than your opponent. Now since I've decided to stick with the Pulsar C for a while um, there are of course many situations where this weapon isn't optimal and I kind of feel like I can't always contribute as much as I would have been able to do with a more close range uh, favored weapon. And that's one of the things about uh, the different roles that you will take upon you in a team based game is that the better you do your role the easier it will be for your teammates to fulfill their roles. Now here we have uh, defended this biolab for quite some time but we're being uh, overrun. And what we need to do is get to the SEU and stop the overload. And what I'm trying to do is to deal as much damage as I can to maxes from range, kill as many people as I can from uh, whatever uh, good position I can find in order to make it easier for the people that are more close range uh, based to get to places like the SEU here, where shotguns and submachine guns are optimal. Damage. Yeah, he's, he's quite dead. Uh, they're attacking Ink to the uh, yep. amp station. They have quite what a few. The? Um, oh, there was a guy guys. with a piston inside the. They have a Sunday inside. PPA. Oh! This, this is just this is fucking Kane and Jesters with doctor guns here at Cigarette. What, what is Reaper DMR? It's, it's, a, a, uh, it's a medic. Medic gun. gun. Yeah, Tyranny damage to bullet. Red bricks now. Yeah. Right fire. No, I can control no, it. Yeah. Why is that base still 50-50 and there's no enemy? What the fuck? There's enemy on point. If you take the teleport, this is where you wanna go. Oh my fucking... Oh, wow! So 30 seconds. Though. The fight oh, is I over in 30 seconds. Oh, that's oh, another base. That's why. Right. What? What? I was on the wrong... Now with just a squad, or like in this case, not even half a squad, you can't really dictate in what ways the uh, battles go. Uh, what we normally do when we play like this is uh, we try to find uh, the good fights and uh, we try to just help out as much as we can. Here we have just pushed back an NC attack at the Genesis terraforming plant. Or that's what I thought. We still have one Sunderer and uh, I'm trying to help get to it for I don't have any C4 myself. All I can do at this point, except for the fact that I've marked it, is to kill as many enemies as possible, 
until the Sunderer is down. Now, because Hasen is a, a new continent, we don't know where to expect our enemies to show up, and we don't know where the best spawn points are. And here, once the Sunderer was down, I actually thought that um, yeah, this fight was over, and then I opened the map and I saw that there was still oh my God, we a shit ton of people there. I don't even know where you are. I'm running here in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, put up a, a beacon, uh, a waypoint. So, back at the same base again, and still defending. Now, it seems to me so far that tanks and uh, air don't have an easy time farming infantry on Hossin, at least not at the bases. Now, I know that there's a lot of people that have a different opinion about this, but uh, the days that I've been playing on Hossin, I think I've been killed twice, maybe, from air, and I played infantry almost exclusively. The times that I've spawned an ESF in order to go hunting uh, infantry on the ground, I haven't been able to stay alive all that long. I gotta admit, I haven't really tried to stay alive either. I've been playing very risky and uh, I haven't yet put any focus in uh, to try to take advantage of the terrain while being in ESF. But uh, yeah, that's because I've enjoyed the infantry gameplay of Hasen so far. Oh, fucking up from behind, Alter. Ich kotze. Getting killed as infantry from behind is so fucking annoying. And get jumped, it's, it's not so annoying as you get jumped as infantry. Now, uh, after we're done with the cleanup from defending this base, I'm going to switch it up and uh, show you a bit of an attack is, uh, instead. Just a second for two bullets. I shot two bullets and you, then you disappeared behind the the, um, the wall and then I, I pulled out the grenade and that moment you came back and you stopped. So here we are attacking and I, honestly I think this actually happened before the defense. I just uh, mixed up the fires a little bit and uh, this is where like this ult can be uh, used. In order to get to positions that, that is harder to get to with the other classes or take longer to get to with the other classes. Hopefully you can also surprise your opponents a little bit. And here you'll also see a couple of more uh, close range engagements that have uh, hip firing with the Pulsar Z. And uh, yeah, don't get me wrong, it is perfectly doable, it's just not very good for it. Do you have the, I think you recorded it, I didn't yeah, find it on your I channel, so I tried to find it. Yeah, I, I have said it. I have it. Uh, you it's have to show me. I want a light, light assault video. Look for the light assault uh, or bail really? assault or something. Yeah. I watched it. Yeah, but I, I have four of those. Ah, okay. Yeah. You, I, I, I wanted to see it from the opposite side, you know, because it was really fun. The bottle light is ex actually the most. Killed him four times in a row and with my rifle, I jumped out and he was in the lip with Vito. Only 43 passed kills with I did it four times in a row with him, I, I killed him. I jumped out, parked my river right next to him. And two times I killed Bottle and, and Brutal together alone. <laughs> <laughs> two, yeah, they, they lost the lip and I just parked my river because I was out of ammo. And just, but I thought. Okay, jump out. It's a little bit surprising, you know, you have the upper hand for a second. So yeah, after a few attempts we were able to get to uh, the capture point here and we can start the actual cap. Now, normally when we realize that we have a base and uh, the enemies have left it, we don't stay the last minute to get the actual cap. And we do of course lose the points for capping the base, but uh, I guess we'll have to do without. A fuel on the tree it just moved in no direction then you can stand on the tree <laughs> in a vertical position 
three times here and then you're on the top. And that's really good beacon then. Yeah, I think that's a good place actually. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, that's also one of the best things about light assault. You can put beacons in uh, good positions. This wasn't uh, maybe the best example for where light assault excels in order to put up spawn beacons. But that is one of the advantages of light assault in many other situations. Here's another kind of tedious uh, part of base capture that I don't really like. It's uh, the last minute or so when uh, the defending team is pushed all the way back into the spawn room. And uh, it's just a spawn camp that is normally it's, there's nothing fun, nothing interesting going on. And again, this is something that I normally don't stay for. I just I just go somewhere else. No, no, we know. Mossy, you. Thank you. Fucking. Yeah, what you I'm gonna join you, but first, spot you want to go to? first I'm gonna PPA farm the landing site. So yeah, I just said it was pretty easy. Aha, uh -huh, is that the place? space? I've never been there. Holy shit. If pretty good when they're actually moving in. Oh yeah, but I'm falling no down. No one will look the up there. Oh my god, infantry. They are, they are let me go first, let me go first. Oops. Decent amount of them as well. They're everywhere! I call for reinforcements! Why get away? Come on. Mm. I'm gonna give you a squad in Mati, since you're already there. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I had a very good... Oh, Dan Cruz, the Girl Scout in my squad, holy shit. Oh yeah, and now you're the leader. Yeah, and I'm the leader of the Girl Scouts, holy Wow. Shit. Mati, you're always in You're moving up in the ranks now, Mati. Yeah. So, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll say thank you all for watching. And, uh, yeah. yeah. Bye for now. Fuck, three and a half minute cooldown. What's that? <laughs> Shit. Ah. Like, I, I looked on my uh, kill... Yeah, how many kills I had before. They're inside, they're inside. I can't inside. Oh my god. Oh my god, inside. the amount of Nexus they have here. Red, look on the map, there's Probably so many red impact. Yeah, it's, 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 it's.